Physio has several tools to help you lay out shapes and connectors neatly and evenly. The tools are organized in these four areas. Auto align and space button, position commands, relayout page gallery, and template specific layout commands. The auto align and space button is on the home tab. This tool is designed to leave your shapes as close as possible to their current layout but aligned with each other and evenly spaced. To use it, select the shapes you want to align and space, or click outside the diagram to remove any selection. If nothing's selected, all the shapes will be affected. Then click Auto Align and Space. The Position button is also on the Home tab. Click the arrow to see commands for aligning, spacing, and orienting selected shapes. The commands in the Align Shapes section Align the shapes without changing their spacing. You can hold the pointer over a command to see a preview of the effect it will have before you commit to the change. Auto Align lines up selected shapes, or all of the shapes if none are selected. To use the other Align commands, you have to select the shapes you want to affect. In the Space Shapes section, Auto Space evens up the spacing between shapes without changing their alignment. To change the spacing distance, click Spacing Options and then set the distance. The Distribute Options are spacing commands from earlier versions of Visio, which are still available if you're used to using them. Move Shapes Off Page Breaks automatically moves shapes off of page breaks so you can print the diagram cleanly. Avoid Page Breaks prevents Auto Align and Auto Space from moving shapes onto page breaks. The commands on the Rotate Shapes submenu rotate or flip a selected shape. Select a shape and then click the command. The Rotate Diagram commands do the same for the diagram if no shapes are selected. Relayout Page is located on the Design tab. If you have a simple diagram and you're not sure about the best way to arrange it, select the shapes you want to rearrange or click outside the diagram to remove any selection and affect all the shapes. Then try holding the mouse pointer over the various designs in the gallery to see what effect they have. You can see a preview without committing to a layout until you click it. If the template you're using for a diagram has a tab devoted to that specific diagram type, like the organization chart, or the brainstorming diagram like this one that I downloaded from VisioToolbox.com, check whether it has a layout command designed for that diagram. If so, try it and see if you like the results.